Good afternoon. My name is Charlie Crawford. I'm the Dean of Academic Services at Tacoma Community College. And I'm sorry I can't be with you this afternoon, but along with Christy and Christopher, I wanted to talk to you about our OER program at Tacoma Community College. I want to talk about what I think are five keys to a successful OER program. One, to begin with a vision and a plan. Two, to adequately fund your project. Three, to get the best guide possible. Four, document your journey. And five, define and celebrate success. I think it's important to start with a vision. I want to share with you the vision for our OER project at Tacoma Community College. The Open Education Resources Project will invite students, faculty members, and administrators to work together as we choose a culture of open education. The overall goal is to increase student learning opportunities by creating and using OER in all levels of our institution. I also think it's important to have a plan. Our plan is to engage students and faculty, conduct a pilot project, develop methodology and conduct ongoing assessment, and finally support the integration and sustainability of OER. We began with a two-year project at TCC. I believe we achieved those goals, and currently I believe that we are created an environment where we can integrate and sustain our OER project. Fund the journey. This slide shows our two-year budget and where we committed money for that two-year program. We had a $202,000 budget to begin with for the two years. That project funding has ended, but we've now integrated the OER project director position into e-learning and combined that with the instructional design position. This next slide shows where the money's coming from, and I think this is important. It shows that we had commitment from the college operating budget, from our e-learning budget, and most importantly, I think, we had commitment from students directly in the form of the student technology fee. Having this kind of widespread buy-in at the beginning of our project was, I think, a very successful key. I believe a successful project needs successful leadership. We were fortunate to have Quill West as a project leader. Quill has now moved to Pierce College in Lakewood and is heading an OER project at Joint Base Lewis McCord to create a fully OER degree for them there. But we're also fortunate that we've recently hired Christy Fierro, who's also talking to you as part of our presentation as instructional designer and OER project leader. Christy comes with experience as an adjunct instructor at Tacoma Community College. She has a background in instructional design, worked with Quality Matters. We're really excited about having Christy and she's going to start full time in this project beginning of spring quarter. I also believe it's important to map your journey. This next slide shows the URL for our project website. I'd encourage you to have a look at that. I think it talks about our successes. We have student videos, faculty videos. We'll put this together over the two years of the project. I think it's a very good example of documenting a project very well. Next, I believe it's important to define your success. This graphic on this slide shows our map for success, savings, satisfaction, and success. We regularly track the money that we were saving in courses. We quarterly surveyed students and faculty. And we worked with institutional research to get achievement data to measure success of students who are in courses supported by OER. Finally, I think it's important to celebrate success. This slide shows an early goal of the project, Liberate 250K. An early goal is to save students over $250,000. We far exceeded this goal. To date, we've saved students over a million dollars in textbook fees. At this point, I'll turn the program back over to Christopher, who can share more with you and answer your questions. But I thank you for the opportunity to participate, to participate in this session this afternoon. Thank you. Reach Charlie Crawford at ccrawford at tacomacc.edu. Featuring the song, Ouroboros by Kevin McLeod, CC BY. <laughs>